murdered me. You did what? Uh. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh, no, 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 no! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Give me a trading card! Give me a trading card! Said that I own the game, so that's worth four drops. Trading cards. I didn't read anything. I should probably have read it first. Whatever. We're gonna do this. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. There it is. There. Good. You have the dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. You hear that? After that, who knows? I got tricks. I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the oh, place go she's gonna be she killed me. Three. By the way, three thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh good, that's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Not really. There's only, what, 25 more tests? This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. The corner where? Oh. Like, what the hell is that? Um. There we Well done. 
Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. I am. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. supposed to do congratulations not on the test most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished i want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds i like how these loading screens kind of change One moment. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them, so feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Great, great, great. Just gonna keep running through as quickly as possible. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faithblade. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. That is interesting. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. There's an achievement back there, isn't there? 